Now let's take a look at some quadratic inequalities. Uh, if we want to solve a quadratic inequality like this, the only way that we're going to be able to do it is with what we call a sign chart. Now a sign chart is really just a number line. And on this number line, we're going to identify the critical points of our expression. So in our equality, the expression I'm talking about is the x plus 4 times x minus 2. The two critical values there are going to be negative 4 and 2. That's because if we plug negative 4 in there, we'll have negative 4 plus 4 times negative 4 minus 2. And look at that, negative 4 plus 4 is 0, negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6, and this whole thing equals 0. And it's the same thing when we plug in 2. 2 plus 4 is 6, and 2 minus 2 is 0. And if we plug that in, our expression equals 0. So that's how we identify our critical values, is because those are the ones that make the expression equal to 0. Now remember, I said that this thing is called a sign chart. So what I want to do is check out each of these intervals that we have here. We have three different intervals. And on this first interval, this very negative interval, I'm just going to pick a very negative number, like negative a billion, and plug it in. Negative a billion plus four is like negative 999,999,996. I don't care about the number. What I care about is the sign. This isn't called a number chart. It's called a sign chart. And the sign of this, negative a billion plus four, is negative. When I move on to the next factor, negative a billion minus two, I don't care about the number, but its sign is negative. So, for every number on this interval, I'm going to end up taking a negative number times a negative number, um, and that product will end up being positive. Move on to the next interval, from negative 4 to 2, you pick something in there like 0. 0 plus 4 is positive, and 0 minus 2 is negative. A positive number times a negative number is a negative number. Finish it off by looking at the last interval and pick something extremely positive, ridiculously positive, like positive a billion. And positive a billion plus four is still positive. And positive a billion minus two is positive. So this expression would be a positive number times a positive number, which is positive. This whole picture that we've created right here is called our sign chart. And what it tells us is the sign of the value of the expression on each of these intervals. Now we can use this sign chart to help us um, solve the inequality because I want to know when is this expression greater than zero. Well what's greater than zero? Positive or negative? Well positive is obviously greater than zero. So when is that expression positive? On these two intervals. When x is less than negative four or when x is greater than 2. And that will be our solution to this inequality. Let's try another one. x times x minus 3 being less than or equal to 0. First we create our sign chart, our number line. We identify our critical values. They're going to happen at 0 and 3. Because if I plug 0 in for x, the expression equals 0. If I plug 3 in for x, the second factor is equal to zero, so the whole product is zero. Now test each interval. If I pick something very negative, like negative a billion, negative a billion is negative. Negative a billion minus three is negative. So we'll take a negative number times a negative number, and every value on that interval will be positive. Now if we pick something in between zero and three, like one, one is positive, but one minus three is still negative, that product is negative. Now we finish off by picking something very positive, like positive a billion, and positive a billion is positive. Positive a billion minus three is positive. A positive times a positive is positive. Now we can finish this up by looking at our sign chart and solving the expression, or solving the equation when this expression is less than or equal to zero. Less than or equal to zero are the negative numbers. So this is the interval I'm talking about from here to here. So we want x to be between 0 and 3. Now remember, it said it could equal 0, so we can equal 0 at these two spots. And here's our solution. And for this expression, x squared plus x minus 6 is less than 0. It's not factored yet, so we can't really create our sign chart. 
So the very first step would then be to factor it. I want to know when this expression is less than zero, so x squared factors into x and x, 6 factors into 3 and 2, and we're going to need plus 3 minus 2 to make this minus 1. So create our sign chart. It's a number line with two uh, critical values. The first one coming at negative 3. The next one coming at 2. Those are the spots that make our expression equal to 0. Now test each interval. Um, if I pick something very negative, like negative a billion, this factor is negative. Uh, negative a billion minus 2 makes this factor negative. Negative times negative is positive. Pick something in between, like 0. 0 plus 3 is positive. 0 minus 2 is negative, so this is negative. And pick something very positive, like positive a billion. A billion plus 3 is positive. A billion minus 2 is also positive. So this product is positive. We want to know when is this expression less than 0. Less than is negative. So our solution is going to be when x is in between 3 and 2. Oops. We don't want it to equal 0, so this is going to be our solution. Let's try one more. Uh, x squared minus 2x is greater than 15. So once again, bring the, put it in standard form. And then factor it. So that would be x and x. And 15 splits up into 5 and 3. We want to make a negative 2, so negative 5 plus 3. Now we can create our sign chart by identifying the two critical values, which happen at 5 and negative 3. Notice how I put the order different this time? Because I want, it's a number line, all right? So we need the smaller number to be first and the bigger number to be second. Uh, anyway, pick a number on the far left interval, the very negative interval. So negative a billion minus 5 is negative. Negative a billion minus plus 3 is negative. The product is positive. Pick something in between, like 0. 0 minus 5 is negative. 0 plus 3 is positive. So everything there is negative. Then pick something very positive. A billion minus 5 is positive. A billion plus 3 is positive. So positive times positive is positive. Answer the question. When is this expression greater than or equal to 0? Well, that's where they're positive. So our two solutions are going to be when x is less than or equal to negative 3. Or when x is greater than or equal to 5. One last thing I want to look at is graphing an inequality. When we have y equals, or not equals this time, but greater than x squared plus 3x minus 4. Now we've gone through this before where there's certain things that we want to find when we make a graph. Uh, first of all, the y-intercept is obviously at negative 4. When it's in standard form, it will be the constant. Um, when we want to find the X intercepts. We'll have to fact we have to set it equal to zero, so x squared plus three x minus four is equal to zero and solve it. Now we can use a quadratic formula, we can use completing the square, but this thing factors pretty nicely into x plus four and x minus one. So the two x intercepts happen at negative four and one. The vertex is going to be halfway between negative four and one. Or we just use that um, the x coordinate is negative b over 2a. Then take that negative 3 halves and plug it in. So the y coordinate is going to be negative 3 halves squared plus 3 times negative 3 halves minus 4. Which we'll grab the calculator and this thing equals negative 25 over 4, which is uh, equal to not about equal to, it is equal to negative 6.25. Now we got pretty much everything we need to um, graph. Uh, so we just start plotting things. Let's plot the y-intercept, is that negative 4? It's right here. And the x-intercepts are at negative 4 and 1. And the vertex is at negative one and a half, negative six and a quarter. So about right here. Now that we're dealing, uh, well, we can also plot uh, this other point using the axis of symmetry. So we get a little bit more accurate graph here. 
But uh, remember, now we're graphing an inequality. So uh, just like when we were graphing linear inequalities, we'd find out where the line is. Here we found out where the parabola is going to be. But then we need to know, should we use a solid line or a dotted line? And since this thing is strictly greater than, not equal to, that means we have to use a dotted line. And then we have to decide which side should we shade on. So we go ahead and just pick a point, like the easiest point in the world, 0, 0, test it, and is 0 greater than 0 squared plus 3 times 0 minus 4. Well, is 0 greater than negative 4? Yes, it is. So everything on this, in this region, is going to be a solution to our, our graph.